This is a video of the Rheingold Heavy Digital Logic uh, Chapter 3 Clock Signals uh, circuit. In this circuit, we build up a, uh, an SR uh, NAND uh, clocked uh, data storage. And uh, you have the three switches here. You have set, reset, and clock. And what I've done just for fun here is I've attached a uh, signal generator with one hertz signal generator up to the clock pin. I've disconnected this uh, jumper wire here um, from the 5 volt rail. So this switch isn't currently uh, doing anything. Um, so it's kind of like we have a switch that just goes on and off once a second. Um, that kind of, you know, simulates how we might use the circuit. Um, on the right hand side here you see the output uh, there's Q and not Q so right now the bit is off um, you could just look at this LED here for off and on um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clock in a, a bit so I'm gonna use the set switch here and you'll notice that when I first uh, switch it uh, it's not gonna go right away because the clock pulse will be low um, if I time it right so it's switched so see how there was that delay there? And now we can turn it off. The bit's still stored um, in the one state, and it'll stay that way. We can turn it on and off a bunch of times. doesn't matter until we reset. Um, now the reset also is on the clock edge. So one of the things we could do uh, is we could um, play around with trying to beat the clock. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow it down even more. Um, that way you guys can see... Uh, what I'm talking about here. So if I flip the switch between the pulses, you'll see that I'm not clocking in that bit. That's not going from a zero to a one. But if I clock it in while the pulse is high, it does. Now the same is for the reset switch. Um, if I do the reset switch while the clock signal's low, nothing happens. Um, but if I hit the reset switch during a clock high, then that goes back to a zero. Um, so, you know, nothing earth shattering there, but kind of neat. And all of this was built up with the uh, Digital Logic Experimentation Pack. Uh, the only additions um, that didn't come with the pack were the jumper wires, um, these jumper wires, the jumper wires on the board, and uh, this actual breadboard uh, itself. See ya!